like a smaller girl escaped. You hear something? I'll take a look. What? by a villager or a noble, maybe. <laughs> it's a gun by, used by samurai to relay orders to their soldiers in battle. Pretty solid. Must be made of stained cypress.
When we washed up on this rock, the rain and wind pounded us for days. We couldn't build shelter or forage for food. Christ, we couldn't even move. It was like some enormous hand was holding us down. Just as the storm was finally breaking, Father Matthias came to us. He was calm and soft-spoken. He seemed to know us, our names, where we were from. He spoke to us in our native language, and we listened. And as we listened, he told us the truth of this island. He offered us a choice, salvation or death. Some chose to defy him, and without hesitation, he killed them then and there. Father Matthias didn't seem malicious or angry, just calm and decisive. As I stood there in the sand, wet with the blood of my comrades, I knew I could never refuse him. from the lifeboats in it. If we don't get that back, we're not getting off this bloody island. Yeah, you need you need bandages, morphine, antiseptic. And also in the pack. Shit. Exactly. Come here. Come on. Oh. Oh no. No, 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 no. No. Oh, don't do this to me, you northern bastard. He's still alive. 
These ruins. Kamakura period. It's always part of Yamatai. After a fortnight, I was at last granted an audience with Her Majesty, Himiko of Yamatai. I must confess, she is unlike any woman I have ever encountered. Beautiful, yet inscrutable, calculating even. She surrounds herself with her priestesses of the sun. No men attend her, save the general of her armies. When I met with her alone, I came to realize that she is not at all what she seems. I was sent by my lord to spy on her, to assess the strength of her armies. But now, I feel she is the one assessing me. My lord has perhaps underestimated the threat of Yamatai. Though I cannot gauge the true strength of her storm god, I cannot deny a powerful feeling that the Sun Queen should not be trifled with.
Where does a young lady like you learn to do a thing like that? <laughs> Late shift at the Nine Bells. Horse got nothing on a broken bottle. Hey, you got it. Nice work. So I assume the plan is to take that up to the radio tower. Well, it should give us the best shot of broadcasting a strong signal in every direction. Send out that SOS. And I'm not climbing anytime soon. Yeah, I was afraid you were going to say that. You can do it, Laura. After all, you're a croft. I don't think I'm that kind of croft. Sure you are. You just don't know it yet. Well, that's happened my fast learner then. Just be careful, Laura.
shielded figures, servants of the Sun Queen. Probably use it to get up there.
There's no one up here! They never make it up this far! Should we head back up to the bunker? Nah, let's wait out the storm. Get out here! Stay alert! Let's move inside! to some of the villagers on the island. I was expressly forbidden to leave the palace, but this did not stop me. My duties here are clear. I must learn the truth, but the stories I uncovered defy belief. Rumors abound of the queen's communion with the spiritual world. They say she commands the sun and the rain, that her lands are abundant by her will alone. <laughs> this is certainly nonsense, but what can be the cause of such whispers? Is this how she controls her people? By engaging their primitive superstitions? I saw absolute reverence in their eyes when they spoke of her. Yet, I also sense fear. Her people are treated with fairness, taxed reasonably, and are well protected by her storm god. No wonder some of them even pray to her. It's as if she were more than just a queen to them. Spreading discontent through her people may well be a harder task than I imagine. Probably used for preparing medicinal herbs. There are small bone fragments in the mortar well. Hopefully animal bones.
telling you, Reyes, it's a mechanical, not an electrical problem. Now, Alex. <coughs> uh, this looks like it might be a, an electrical problem. You think? <coughs> oh, hello. Hey. Is this little fox, oh, huh? Yeah. She's cute, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. Alicia. Alicia. It's my like daughter. That. Oh. 14 years old and smarter than you'll ever be. She must must get that from her father. Don't give him the attention. And yeah. I'll take a look at this. Probably electrical. From her father. So I was on the walk, right? Doing a spot of midnight fishing. Hey, Grim, time to button down the hatches. I'll be right with you. So I was on the walk, right? And this thing comes looming at me, looming out of the water it was. So I give it a real Glasgow kiss, you know. <laughs> Get shot of trouble nine times out of ten, that does. Took me a week to sleep that night off, and I've not touched a drop since. See you at dinner, Sam. All right, can we take B-roll, please? Thank you. Dr. James Whitman, filler 15, take three, and action. Okay, now take a firm grip, and then slice him down the belly, like this. Yeah, you got it. Cut, 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 cut! Cut. Uh, is, is he coming back? <sighs> I'll go get him. Renowned archaeologist. I discovered the world-renowned archaeologist, fish, Mr. Doctor James Whitman. It's just a fish. It's, it's fine. Know, it's just You're a gonna fish. be fine. This damned reality TV business. I'm I'm meant to be bringing culture to the people, Sam. Not dinner. Uh, no offense, Jonah. The audience demands content, Doctor Whitman. You know that. So until we find the Lost Kingdom, we need footage like this. Come on, let's just take it from the top, okay? We're gonna make you look like Gordon Ramsay in editing. Dr. James Whitman, filler 15, take four, action. Okay, now take a firm grip, and then slice him down the belly, like that. I've studied them so much, I can see charts on the back of my eyelids. But if I'm not right about Yamatai being in the Dragon's Triangle... I remember when you found that one of your father's digs. You ran up and showed it to me dressed in your penguin pajamas. <laughs> I was five <laughs> years old. It was my first find. Yeah. You've got great instincts, girl. You just have to trust them. Mm. That's what my father used to say. Now, there was a man that ran on instinct. For better or worse. He would have been so proud of you, Lara. We're getting closer to the storm. Well, whatever's coming, we'll get through it, eh? <laughs> okay, Lara. Pull yourself together. They're counting on you. found its way into Japanese circulation sometime in the mid-19th century.